good afternoon, First Minister. Can you hear and see me okay? Ian Hearing and seeing you very well. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Well, welcome everyone to today's very exciting uh, digital dialogue session. We're honoured to be joined by the Right Honourable Mark Drakeford, the First Minister and Leader of the Welsh Labour Party. So we're going to go to our first question and our first school, which is uh, Mastic School. And over to you. If you could just unmute yourselves and ask that first question, please. So, uh, good afternoon, welcome to Maestic School in Clinton Valley. We are a Year 7 class and thank you for answering our questions today. What is your favourite thing about being First Minister? Well, Pranhanda, uh, in Maestic, Idafra, good afternoon to Maestic. Uh, well, my favourite thing about being First Minister is that I get to meet lots of people. It's a great privilege of the job that I will meet all sorts of people during any working day. So just thinking what I've done today, for example, I started my day talking to a group of people in City Hall here in Cardiff about our plans for a tourism tax. I then came down to the Senate and I met with some people who work for the Welsh government. I've met the German ambassador uh, this morning uh, for an hour here and immediately before coming to talk to you I was with uh, a class of nine-year-olds from a school in Newport who are visiting the centre today and I was able to go over and talk to them and answer some of their questions too. So if I chose just one thing about the job it's the fact that every day is different but every day gives me the chance to meet and talk with people and that's a great part of the job. Transport to school is a real issue for pupils in our community. How could this be resolved? Yeah, OK, look, thank you. I heard it probably uh, that time. And first of all, just to acknowledge that school transport is a real uh, challenge and it will be a challenge in a number of the schools on the call today, particularly places you know, outside big urban areas and the problem is at the moment actually getting worse rather than getting better because the impact of the war in Ukraine as many of you will know has had the effect of driving oil prices and therefore petrol prices up all over the globe uh, and many of the companies who in the past have provided school transport uh, are actually struggling to be able to afford to do it within the contracts that they've got. So we are we are in a particularly challenging moment really in school transport. And I just wanted to you know, acknowledge the importance of the issue. We are going to take a piece of legislation through the Parliament here in Wales during this Senate term. It will be in front of the Senate within the next 12 months. And it will be a bill to re-regulate the bus industry. I'm sorry if this all sounds a bit complicated and all that. But the way the bus services are organised uh, really doesn't mean we don't get the return on the money that is invested in them. Um, and we want to change the rules so that in the future the money that the Welsh Government and the local councils in all the areas that you live in, the money that we all put into the bus service, that we get the best possible return on that investment for the public, and that includes school transport as well. So while there are no very easy answers you know, here now because of the impact of rising petrol prices, we do have a plan that in the next couple of years, we'll change the rule book about how buses are organised and how services are provided, how we think we're very confident that that will help to make a positive difference. What would you like to improve about Wales if money was no object? Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. What a wonderful, what a wonderful question. If money were no object, well, uh, actually, it, it, it's not a very difficult question for me, because if money were no object, 
then the problem that we face in Wales that I would want to solve the most is poverty. We have far, far too many families and children in those families as well in Wales who don't have enough money every week to meet even the most basic things. You know, to be able to afford food, to be able to afford heat, to be able to afford the things that other people are simply able to take for granted. And I don't mean big things, I don't mean, you know, holidays in other parts of the world. I mean basic things like being able to afford a haircut, or to be able to afford a newspaper, or to be able to afford to get on a bus and go into town to do something. It is just, it is just unbelievable to me that in a country which is one of the richest countries on the face of the globe, that we still have families in all parts of Wales who just don't have enough money every week to be able to do those absolutely basic things. And if money were no object, and I could solve one problem, only one problem that we have in Wales, it would be to make sure that every family in Wales has enough money. And those of you doing A-levels and things like that, you may have come across the phrase, it's called a participation income. It's enough money, not just to be able to do the very basics, but to participate in the life of the community around you. Enough money that you can do those simple things that other people are able to do, and you can't. And uh, if, I, if I had the chance, that would, without any doubt at all, be my own personal top priority. Thank you. And that brings us to the end of our questions. And I wanted to just say thank you so much for your time this afternoon, First Minister, and for your helpful and considered answers to all of our young people's questions. And I also want to say a massive thank you to every young person who asked questions today and all of the young people on the call who I know has done lots of research about the First Minister and had written their own questions even if they weren't lucky enough to get selected. Thank you so much for taking this so seriously and really making the most of this opportunity. Is there anything you just wish to say, Mr. before we finish? Oh, just uh, dear for Howard. Thank you all very much uh, indeed. I thought the questions were brilliant, by the way, and it was, it was great. There was a nice wide range uh, of topics and some very, very important topics we managed to spend some time on this afternoon. So thank you all very much indeed for the time and the effort you put into that. Thank you. Okay, well, I'm going to bring the call to an end now. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mrs. Chown. We have just um, come off a live Q&A with Mark Drakeford. Um, wonderful experience to be a part of. How are you feeling afterwards? Oh, do you know what? Absolutely amazed by our Year 7 pupils. Um, looking at the other schools, we were up against um, pupils who were 17, 18. I think we were the youngest by a, by a good couple of years. Um, so to have Year 7s have that opportunity um, was, just, was just absolutely amazing. So this is our second time with the Politics Project. Um, we did something with Year 7 last year where we um, um, interviewed Huaranka as a whole class. But you know what? To keep the momentum going um, is just absolutely... I'm, I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away by them. They're amazing. Absolutely amazing. Have you got any words about Mark Drakeford who's obviously given up his time to speak to our pupils today? Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, you know, when he was speaking earlier on and said already what he had done this morning in terms of people he met, I mean, I think it's absolutely amazing that, you know, that schools, pupils have that opportunity um, to get to know what um, the First Minister does and actually what happens day to day in politics. It's, it's invaluable. Um, so thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. How did you find um, asking the First Minister, Mark Drakeford, a question this afternoon? Nerve-wracking. Yeah? Did you enjoy yourself, though? Yeah, it was fun. What did you think about his answer? Okay. Yeah. 
Hello, Gracie. You did really well this afternoon speaking to the First Minister, Mark Drakeford. How did you find that experience? Um, I felt good, but I was really nervous to ask my question. And with regards to your question, what did you think about Mark Drakeford's answer to you? I think his answer answer was like really interesting and it was like cool to know there's something in the pipeline coming soon. Fantastic. Yes, improvements to school transport on the way. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey Holly, what a fantastic afternoon we have had speaking to Mark Drake for this afternoon. Um, really exciting project where we got to collaborate as a class. How did you find that experience? I find it, I'm real grateful, even though I didn't have to get to um, ask him a question, I'm real grateful to be there. Um, and I liked enjoying when my classmates were asking questions and I liked his answers. Thank you very much.